Okay, hi everybody. My name is Kerry Hallard. I'm the Chief Exec for Global Sourcing Association. I'm joined here today by Mark Devonshire, who in his day job is Head of Delivery for NTT Data International, but oh. um, spends a lot of time working with the GSA and is our chairman. So, um, so what we're doing is we're introducing a new initiative for the members and um, we're launching today Sourcing TV. Sourcing TV is intended to be uh, a quick, sharp um, way of communicating with the membership community on all things that are actually happening either at the GSA or within the strategic sourcing community. So we're going to be doing a series of interviews and, and sessions with all sorts of different um, uh, members about what they see going on, the different trends and predictions for our industry. So very keen to get your feedback as to whether you think this is a good um, uh, approach to um, you know, to, to bring in content to the community. So, um, so I think we start with this particular session looking at what the industry's response was to COVID nineteen. So, Mark, this is something that we and uh, the entire GSA Council have been looking at and working on. So, I wonder if you could quickly articulate what you think the industry's response to COVID has been. So. Uh... The overall uh, response has been phenomenal. So uh, uh, the onset of the, of the virus and the move to home, um, everybody uh, was tremendous in terms of all organisations managing that process, quickly getting services relocated, security protocols achieved, etc. And, and a real um, credit to this industry in terms of making that happen, both supply and buy side in terms of protecting continuity of service and uh, supporting the economy. I also saw great collaboration between um, suppliers that one day were competing, the next day they were just uh, coming to the cause, between buyers, suppliers, advisors, making things happen quickly and rapidly. And, and really we saw um, you know, whole new ways of learning, whole new ways of uh, delivering health services, e-commerce e coming to the fore, and really industry continuing largely without any breaks whatsoever. Um, also credit to this industry, I think safeguarding people, putting people at the heart of um, their, uh, uh, managing people, ensuring their health and safety was, uh, was paramount. And I saw that across the whole globe in terms of making that happen. Um, and now what do we see? Well, uh, I think probably we were playing with digital transformation before and everything was digital, but were we truly digital? And we've now really seen that you know, happen. Everybody is enabled by digital across the globe um, and projects are being accelerated, are being brought to the fore. And we're now seeing that further rise of um, digital acceleration come, which, which has been in the marketplace. And the, and the last point is, um, thankfully, uh, uh, in Europe uh, and positively in Europe, um, we are tackling the virus. Uh, we're trying to maintain um, uh, you know, at, at the ecosystem or the economy coming back. Unfortunately, the rest of the globe is um, still spiraling in terms of the cases of viruses. So this is a global issue, a truly global issue. The global picture is challenging more and more on a daily basis. Um, and clearly, we're going to have to live with this um, for the next few months, if, if not years, in terms of um, trying, to, trying to bring back the economy until a vaccine is uh, enabled. So I think overall, great response. I think GSA has done a, a, a great job in terms of um, working with the membership base in terms of understanding the challenges and advising. But also, um, Kerry had a really good idea back in uh, just about two or three weeks into the um, in, into the virus taking hold um, and uh, came with this idea of bringing the whole global um, economy up, global associations together. Uh, talk us about how you brought it together, Kerry, and the exciting launch that we made in the last few weeks of the GT and BSC. Yeah, so I can, can agree with you more, Mark. I think the industry responded phenomenally well. If you look how quickly we mobilised into working from home and um, and making so many workers around the world essential work so that they could actually go on out and carry on delivering services. It's just absolutely phenomenal. And that whole piece of partnering and collaboration. So GSA has been running a trust survey and we've seen trust in partnerships 
keep on increasing throughout this pandemic as, as people um, and, and partnerships have, have worked incredibly, incredibly well together. So yeah, I thought that we needed to massively applaud our industry. But more than that, I thought we needed to position our industry as being front and center of so many companies restart strategies. But because this is a global industry, I didn't believe that we should be doing it purely in, in, in the UK uh, and thought that we needed to come together as an industry globally and say, look at what we've done, look at what we've managed to achieve. And, um, and also, and this is the future of our industry, this is where we're going and this is how important we're going to be um, in, in terms of um, helping companies get to the, the next normal. Um, so um, basically we reached out to the other industry associations around the world and said, you know, we want to, um, to, to make this industry response. You know, are you willing to come together and work with us on this and also paint a vision for the future? And the support has been absolutely unanimous. So we have come together in a truly cohesive way um, and launched the Global Technology and Business Services Council, which is um, comprised at the moment of 12 leading associations uh, covering the entire globe. So just to, to mention some regions, we've got the United States on, we've got Latin America, we have got, um, we've got Malaysia, we've got South Africa, we've got Egypt, and we've got Central and Eastern Europe, Europe just to mention some of the partners. Um, we've set up this council, um, we have issued a global response, um, and we have set a very clear vision for what the future of our industry looks like. Um, so absolutely delighted to be working with such great industry associations um, to properly, for the first time ever, promote um, the global intent and global approach to best practice for strategic sourcing and for technology and business services. So, um, yeah, very exciting um, initiative. And I think it's going to be hugely beneficial for all of our members around the world. And between us, we actually represent 10 million organizations. So it's, it's a big body and it's gonna have a lot of strength in, in lobbying governments, in setting new standards, in upskilling the profession and, um, and bringing global talent pools together. Yeah, Kerry, and I think, you know, um, for, for GSA members, um, you know, I think there's a, a lot, clearly a lot of best practice um, and, and collateral Within the GSA, but we can now multiply that um, by twelve times because um, forming that forming that council enables us to um, share events, share collateral, share best practice, share global discussion. So I think this is a real plus for GSA members that um, we're enabling them and making it happen. And um, we'll publicise as the uh, GT and BSC uh, delivers um, all the events and all the collateral. We'll uh, publicise that for other. The GSA um, channels. So coming back specifically to the GSA, you've also announced and published the manifesto for this year. Um, talk us through uh, your perspective on some of the work streams that have been launched and the overall context of the manifesto. Yeah, so the manifesto again looks at applauding how well the industry responded and it has loads of case studies. We've published loads of case studies on different examples of responses and how companies have partnered to um, to, to, to keep the lights on and, and the wheels of um, business turning. But the manifesto itself is um, it's it's still centered around um, strategic sourcing and how we firmly believe that those companies that have a strategic sourcing function are the ones that are performing the best and actually are the ones that have actually managed to, to get through COVID uh, so far the best. So um, the, the, the umbrella theme is um, how to move to a strategic sourcing function. And we believe a strategic sourcing function actually transcends the previous siloed units of a business. So we're looking at the business, we're looking at finance, we're looking at operations, we're looking at technology, and we're looking at procurement. Uh, and, um, and how strategic sourcing by partnering, um, um, outsourcing, offshoring, working with a, a blended global footprint and a very diverse ecosystem can really add value to, to the business. Um, so that's the umbrella theme. And then we've got work streams within that. So we've got um, a, um, 
a whole focus on talent and the attracting more talent to work in strategic sourcing, but also upskilling the talent in strategic sourcing. Um, we've got a, a work stream obviously on inclusion and diversity and also on well-being. We're currently running a survey, a survey on employee wellness at the moment and making sure that you know we're, we're looking after individuals that um, might be somewhat more stressed than others in the working from home environment and, and in this pandemic. Uh, and we also have a work stream on the future of customer experience. So that's looking at moving towards um, you know, the, the, well, the future of customer service, the, the access to the gig community and a very different global talent pool for delivering service moving forward. Um, those are some of them, Mark, but um, I know you're involved in quite a few of them yourself. Thank you, Clary. So the other work streams that uh, we're championing in are uh, the sourcing ecosystem. So we are shortly to launch the Entrepreneurs Club, which is around providing um, advice, best practice, tools, um, to SMEs, startups, entrepreneurs. Um, and a lot of that is already on the website and enabled. We have the sourcing tech work stream, which is all around um, less jargon and more business benefits around the tech that we're finding in the marketplace to be an even more important, uh, bearing in mind COVID. We've already run sessions on blockchain and other technologies um, and forwards, things like 5G, AI, automation coming up. We also have the automation work stream. What we've found is that uh, automation clearly has been prevalent for the last few years, but typically we've seen lots of proof of concepts, lots of pilots, lots of departmental implementations. And our mantra is how do we make that much more enterprise? So across an organization, using automation as a real tool um, to increase the efficiency of the organizations and allow workers to move to more value tasks. And the last stream is contracting. So gone are the days, or nearly gone are the days of 800 page contracts. The GSA is promoting and has provided collateral in terms of standardizing contracts, short form contracts, and best practice in terms of contracting life cycles through the contract phase and through the life cycle of any relationship. Um, and, and again, all of that is accessible via the website. So a whole set of great um, uh work streams relevant and pertinent to the marketplace that we're, we're we're in at the moment all of those work streams are shared each work stream is chaired by a council member and involves both other council members and indeed members um the, the membership base as well so an open invite if anybody does want to get involved in any of these work streams do come back to us they're very relevant uh they're very exciting i would even say some are fun so please do come and join us in terms of perhaps adding more value. We appreciate any point of view, any idea, um, and we're trying to bring those ideas to the benefit of all of our membership base. Back to you, Kerry. Yeah, I'd just like to add to that, that uh, absolutely all of that is underpinned by the GSA's toolkit um, of best practice. So the Global Strategic Sourcing Standard um, uh, underpins a lot of thinking of, of that best practice. And that standard has become freely available to, um, to the entire community globally um, for anybody who, who, who wants to check their performance against best practice. So um so yeah, that's what we're up to. Um, that's amongst a myriad of other things. We've recently launched a partner platform, which is like checkertrade.com, but for the service provider community, a great a great platform for raising a profile of um, of your organization or for finding a partner moving forward. So um, loads going on and really keen to get you involved and get your opinions in and also your opinions on sourcing TV and whether you think this is a good way of us sharing content. So, um, so yes, thank you very much for listening and we'll see you soon. Thank you. Bye.